Hey guys, Ray from LoveTheRV.com and today I just want to show you this really cool scenic campsite we're camped at called Angel's Peak. It's got some spectacular vistas. So this is the little sign that points the way. Um, we're on uh, Highway 550 near uh, Bloomfield, New Mexico, about 7-8 miles south of town. And this is the entrance way. I'm just pointing it out because it's uh, the GPS will lead you all over the place. The place is full of uh, roads for some uh, looks like some oil and gas operations and stuff. So the GPS is not reliable. Um, the road you want is 7175. So I'm gonna go down with the dash cam and give you a view going inside and. We'll also maybe stop at a few of the, the areas where you might be able to camp. So let's go! So here's the first stop you come to. After maybe a mile you go past some construction equipment and you come to this what they call Badlands Overlook. It's sort of uh, I guess a, just a stop for a viewpoint but I could easily see you uh, camping here. Pretty spectacular eh? So off to the distance there that's Angel's Peak. Basically the road winds its way along the edge of the canyon here, all the way down to a campground about six miles in. So like I say, you got to watch your GPS because uh, we actually got led down into the badlands there. There's all kinds of roads for, I guess it's oil and natural gas work, and we were way down in there. <laughs> It's quite the adventure actually, that uh, might be another uh, dash cam video I'll post later on. Fun stuff. Okay, let's head to the next little point which is a little picnic area. There we go. It's a couple hundred yards further up. You got this picnic area, so I could see uh, coming along with a rig here or two, and maybe uh, parking it for the night. Doesn't seem to be a very busy place at all. Here's the next picnic area. This is called Castle Rock Overlook. I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, it's another little place you could probably uh, bring the RV in. Seems to be enough room, fairly flat. One thing you do hear out here is uh, there's quite a few pumps and stuff running. You can see over there there's a building doing something over there. Anyway, you'll hear uh, pumps and things going on, so it's not dead quiet, but it's free. Let's continue on.
So the road is uh, pretty smooth going in other than it's uh, quite uh, rutted. I guess when uh, it rains the, the ground gets soft and the tires sink so it's almost like driving on uh, some snow and ice you know when it gets rutted. You just have to take your time but there's no washboard at all. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't want to be here if there was uh, rainy weather in the forecast but uh, once it's dry it's pretty good. Okay, this one's called Cliff's Picnic Area, and it's got a lot of room, nice and flat. Lots of little picnic tables and structures, but uh, yeah, you could bring pretty well uh, any size RV in here. I don't see any signs in any of these places that say no overnight camping in any of these picnic areas, so uh, I guess it's a free-for-all. We're camped here uh, March, today is March 9th or 10th, can't remember, but uh, there's just us and one other tent camper. All these picnic areas, I haven't seen anybody in them, so I guess you'd be good to go certain times of the year. Pretty cool spot. Okay, so let's head down to the main campground. Look at that, we're working. There you go. I think we got the best site here. Looks like this maybe is a group site. Fit a few RVs in here. I think we have the best spot. Got a view of the Angel's Peak right there. Out the back window of the RV. Look out Angie. Let's cruise back here. Give you a closer look at our view. Well, it's a beautiful morning today. Um, sun's just coming up. Uh, it's about uh, 45, 50 degrees. Going to be about 70 today. The nights up here are cold. We're up around 6,000 feet, so it gets down there freezing. But uh, we're in uh, about mid-March, and it gets up to about 70 degrees. So today, I'm going to take a little hike. There's a really cool hike. You can take along along the ridge line here and get a good view of the Badlands. So I'm going to hike actually way out onto the point there. All along this ridge, there's a trail that goes up and down, follows the, the top of the Badlands there. So, it's about a mile or so. Angie's ready to go. Let's go through this little gate here. We'll be on our way. I guess we'll take you along give you a look at the Badlands. A little ways down the trail now, so i uh, give you a look back at the rig where we're perched at our uh, campsite. There's another fifth wheel behind us is squeezed into a spot, but there's not too many other spots you could put a fifth wheel in. They're all pretty small at this end. Spectacular.
might be able to hear some uh, machinery running in the background. So there's a lot of, uh, I guess it's gas, oil and gas stuff going on. There's all kinds of trucks, guys and trucks running around here. All kinds of pumps running. Okay, let's go. Get going, get going. So this is the first little uh, viewpoint. So we can see over the ridge and down into another area. You can see some of the roads down there for the oil and gas guys to move around on. So this is where it gets a little uh, bit trickier for people that aren't very agile. You got to start going down some hills and back up some hills and along some places with a pretty good drop-off. So we're gonna go down, up that one, down, up that one, down, up that one, and then further on to uh, the end of the line. Come on, get your, get your four-wheel drive going in as you go. Awesome. Okay. So now we go down along this ridge line. A little bit narrow, but the ground is actually pretty. Uh, Pretty solid, sticks to your uh, hiking boots quite well. Definitely wouldn't want to do it when it's raining. Imagine it gets a little slick. Okay, we made it across the first little hill there. A little winded, it's a little high in elevation for me. Not quite acclimatized yet. So the next part is a little bit trickier. This is where some people might turn back. Because <laughs> if you go off the edge, you're going way down. Bonk, 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 splat. So we'll take it easy along there. I got myself a walking stick. We're going to go along this edge and up into that where that little pointy rock spire is. Right up there. I made it. So now I gotta kind of squeeze past this thing to continue on. And I see some real morons decided they should carve their initials in this beautiful rock. Freaking stupids. Okay. I think we can make it. Yeah. Hope that rock doesn't fall on me. Holy crap. Okay, now we've got a lot of downward motion to go. Down, 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 down. Oh, oh what a beautiful morning. Not a breath of wind. Wore too many clothes. So I'm going to scramble down these rocks and we'll get over on that flat part. Get around over there, we can get a good view. This is bad here of Angel's Peak. Well, it looks like the end of the line for us. Looks like you could scramble down a bit, go all the way down. 
into the canyon below, but uh, I'm not really into climbing all the way back up right now. Gorgeous views. I'm not sure why they call this Angel's Peak. I tried to find out on the internet and uh, really didn't find much. All I can think of is at the very front of that uh, peak, you kind of see that rock sticking out. I guess that could look like an angel overlooking the valley. I read somewhere that uh, the, the wind and rain has eroded the angel quite a bit, so maybe that's why I can't really distinctly see an angel. Awesome. What a day. I think today's going to be a pancake day. Let's head back, Angie. Okay, that was a nice little hike. The colors are really starting to come out. I don't know if it shows up in the video camera that well, but uh, there's a lot of pastel -y shades. There's purples and a lot of pinks and mauves, greens, gold, brown. It's quite amazing, especially when the, the light is just right. Really pretty. Hope you enjoyed that uh, look at uh, Angel Peak uh, scenic area. We really enjoyed our time here. We stayed here about five nights now. I could stay longer, but uh, 
Time is growing short. We got to be back up in Canada by May 1st, and we have lots of uh, scenic spots to check out. Next stop, Utah. Stay tuned. Cheers.